The Scholastic Ball Report is sponsored by Mingy Beef Jerky, P-Rats, Rafferty's, Roberts Insurance, Crown Trophy, Sutherland Chevrolet, Prep Spin, Double Dogs, and by UK Sports Medicine. Hi, I'm Gary Ball, your host of the Scholastic Ball Report. It's a great year in sports so far. As always today, we have a feature from WKYT from around the state. The Roberts Insurance Team of the Week, Woodford County Football Team with Dennis Johnson, two of his players, Justice Wurzler and Leland Taylor. The Crown Trophy Scholar Athlete of the Week, Brody Coleman, cross-country runner from Madison Central. From Nicholasville, we have the Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week with some great sports action. Rafferty's special guest of the week, Lucy Moore from Rowan County to talk about cheerleading and dance. And also, we know what you want. You want the best highlights in the state of Kentucky. We got them. It's called Game Time with Brian Milam, Lee K. Howard, and Lindsey Gall. To a degree, it is a stakes race for Lafayette and Henry Clay, but especially the Blue Devils. Lafayette snapped an 18 game slide last week. The Blue Devils mired in a 10 game losing streak with their last win coming October 7th, 2022 against Lafayette. Lafayette, the 81st all time meeting and the generals are driving fourth and 10 from the 20 DJ Walker looks right wide open Christian Giannone brings it in and the generals are on the board seven nothing and you got to feel for coach gay as he watches the highlights I can't believe it it's just whatever uh, the avalanche about to commence Lafayette just bedeviling Henry Clay's Rohan Taylor stripped by Nehemiah Jarber he goes the other way for the sake of time we save 75 yards and about 20 seconds uh, we cut to the celebration and Lafayette shuts out Henry Clay for just the third time since the JFK administration. 30 to nothing. All right, I spoke to uh, GRC coach Joe Jericho in the preseason and he said, well, he knew where the Cardinals stood in the district pecking order. That would be behind Douglas, behind Bryan Station. The defenders, well, they've not lost in October since 2019. I have a feeling that streak would continue. Kalen Washington, he transferred to station from GRC before the season. What's that old saying? If you can't beat him, join him. That's a touchdown. Touchdown number three for Mr. Washington just before the half. Brian Station getting greedy. They like the color green over there. Mm -hmm. How about Trenton cut right to Demond Green? Nothing but fake green grass in front of him. He's got the green light. Station runs away with it 51 to 6. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. only at Johnny Carino's. Enjoy our five for $15.99 ribeye steak and shrimp scampi meal deal. Juicy char-grilled ribeye steak, savory shrimp scampi, your choice of pasta, bottomless salad, our Italian nachos appetizer, and our fresh baked bread for only $15.99. Famous Dave's Barbecue, now open for it to go. Enjoy a $5 brisket sandwich piled high with smoky Texas beef brisket. Order now at FamousDave's.com. 
Good things come to those who wait. Unless you use distinctive design remodeling to upgrade your home, go from fine to fantastic faster than you might think. With this many finished projects, what are you waiting for? Get your project finished faster with distinctive design remodeling. <gasps> they know all of your secrets. You have a third nipple? Joey was in a porno movie. Ooh. If I'm going down, I'm taking everybody with me. But they love you anyway. Friends. Weeknights at 7 on The CW Lexington. Special Olympics Kentucky has officially opened their flag football season. More than 200 athletes competing in the tournament at St. Xavier High School in Louisville. Teams from all over Kentucky gathering there, including some teams from Frankfurt and even Central Kentucky. One of the organizers talks about how this benefits their players. Well, one, I would say is the socialization aspect. You know, um, they come here, they make friends uh, that last a lifetime. Uh, but also, you know, we're teaching skills and they're playing just like any other athlete on a playing field. Um, and so we're building those skills like we do in traditional sports. This was the first of three regional tournaments. The next ones will be on October 22nd and then on November 4th. Welcome back to the uh, Roberts Insurance Team of the Week on the Scholastic Ball Report. Dennis Johnson, after a big win, I tell you what, uh, thirty to fourteen—that's a pretty good team. You just you just swept on the field. No, they're a really good team. I think five and one, and got beat first game of the uh, season by a great team from Ohio. But they've dominated people the last four or five weeks, and so we were we were very concerned. Uh, didn't probably have the best week of practice. Had a lot of things that went on this week, but. Our guys came out, led by these two guys, and, yep. uh, and came out and played. We played physical football. We haven't done that in a few weeks. Justin Wurzler was particularly impressive in his uh, first start as a QB for your ball club. Right now, Justin has been playing phenomenal, man. We just throw him back there and say, go make plays. And whether it's a, a snap on the ground or, or a play that we kind of mishandle, uh, time and time again this year, you know, the two games he's played as quarterback, he, he's made plays. And he's a, a definitely a college prospect, 6'2". 190 pounds, can run, catch, play DB, so we're glad to have him on our side. Uh, Dennis Johnson with uh, Woodford County. Uh, great defensive effort. I think one of the best defensive efforts I've seen by your ball club. Right, no, I think we play good. Uh, you know, they kind of similar to us, run some triple option, getting some gun, and so uh, we kind of had a few keys, and we just said we got to play fundamentally sound defense. You know, when we have lapses uh, in alignment, you know, it, it makes lapses in assignment. So I thought we did a good job. Coach Rowley, uh, Coach Brown, Coach Curl, my brother, Coach Hampton, those guys have done a really, really good job on defense, and they got after our guys this week, and uh, thus a good performance. We talked about your schedule, Dennis, down the road. You've got Scott County. Yes. Uh, who else you got? Ballard. Going? Ballard, yeah, Ballard here. Yes. Uh, so you got some good teams coming up. But I tell you what, uh, impressive win tonight. We, I was really impressed with your ball club. No, I'm I, I'm excited for the guys, man. And we're beat up too a lot. You know, we, we we've been beat up all year. A lot of knee injuries and stuff. But guys are continuing to step up. And I, I really believe now. You know, I used to say and didn't believe it. You're only as good as your weakest link. And so I believe that now. And we have a lot of guys who step up and play, and, and thus their practice performance is, is indicative of what they do on Friday nights. Well, tell us about your two players with us, because I know they're good academic kids, yes. too. I know Justin Wurzel does good in the classroom. So does this young man. Uh, tell us about them. Now, they're both uh, three, eight uh, students, yeah. uh, you know, honors society and club, and man, and, and those guys, you know, they lead the tutoring on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, make sure our guys get the tutoring to make sure we get our academics. And so, you know, I think it's called being a student athlete for a reason. These guys are, are, are great examples for Woodford County and for high school athletics. You're right, coach, a great example. Let's start with Justin Wurzler. Tonight, uh, you know, for your, your, a couple snaps were bad. You picked them up. You made something good out of them, so it really didn't bother you that it was a bad snap, did it? Uh, no, sir. You know, I knew that if if my lineman would still block for me, even if it was a bad snap, I could make a play out of it. And some good throws tonight, too. I really liked, I said it a couple times, Coach, that the uh, play in the end zone, when he threw the ball to Crow, yes. and Crow came out of there, made a cut, got the first down. I think that was a pivotal play for your football team, and you made it along with Crow. Yes, sir. Uh, you know, me and Crow, we connect a lot in practice, so I feel like that led to the games tonight. And the young man to your right got a, a good opening play, didn't he? Yes, sir. He's a fast boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Taylor, right? Leland Taylor. Uh, good run tonight, and uh, 
really good ball game for you too. Yeah, you kind of open up. We got a player of the game plaque for uh, Mr. Wurzler, but you had a good ball game too. Yes, sir. And uh, going back to those jet sweeps, I mean, as we were talking, um, White Crow. I mean, he he sets the edge for me and. We on those jet sweeps we have uh, Samuel who actually ended up getting hurt and he pulls and as you guys claim I'm one of the fastest kids in the state and <laughs> Samuel Samuel I mean he gets out there and blocks his butt off. Well I tell you I was just really impressed with you guys tonight and and uh, here on the ball report we get a lot of teams but uh, you don't get many teams that are weak that got academic kids like this too that's a real impressive coach. Uh, th for these two and your whole team really no I think as of now we have a 3.29 GPA and as so, a team as a team and so we wow. believe in it now and we and we got a little punishment for guys who get D's in there for every Wednesday I bring out the they know I bring yeah. out the uh, grade sheet and all those guys who had D's in there we do a thing called rolling so uh, academics are very important you know we know it's going to take you a lot lot, lot farther than it, your your football careers and uh, so we want it to be very important well justice to get you back in there Wurzler um uh, I got to ask you, you know, transferred over from Lexington Catholic, you yes, weren't sir. happy there, but uh, you're, you're selling in now, you're becoming a good yellow jacket. Yes, uh, there's a star of the game, Coach. Get that plaque there. Yes, we'll sir. get over to player oh, of the man. game, <laughs> Justin Wurzler. Uh, good job tonight. And, and uh, what do you see down the road for your ball club? Uh, you know, well, I think that with Coach Johnson, we can really make a, a run for it all this year. Yeah. You know, we just got to get a few people back 100% and then keep the people that are 100% right now, like Leland. And Wyatt and yeah. I feel like we can we can win it all. Justin Wirtz, Lillian Taylor, and Dennis Johnson join us on the uh, Scholastic Ball. Thank you, Coach, for being on the show and being on the post game show. Well, thank you guys for all you do, man. You guys do a great thing for Kentucky Ath athletics, and we definitely appreciate it. That's Dennis Johnson. This has been the Roberts Insurance uh, Team of the Week here on the Scholastic Ball Report. Hi, this is Gary Ball for Crown Trophy of Lexington. Crown Trophy offers youth sports awards, corporate awards. They offer signs and a full line of promotional products. They're located at 2680 Wilhite Drive on the corner of Nicholasville, New Circle Road, just behind Starbucks. Stop by and pick up your copy of our 85-page catalog. Crown Trophy is nationally known, but locally owned with 150 stores nationwide. Crown Trophy, the official provider of plaques for the Scholastic Ball Report and Prep Spin. Garbage time. That phrase never sounded quite right because no part of football is meaningless. So while some folks see garbage, FanDuel sees treasure. We see spreads to cover, overs to hit, and chances to live bet from the first down to the final whistle. So don't just watch football this season, cherish it. America's number one sports book is live in Kentucky. New customers bet $5 and get $200 in bonus bets guaranteed. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. Whether you're an active person that wants extra supplemental movement, maybe you want to keep your legs active while you work, or you wish to support your therapy at home, or you just want to build strength, increase your mobility, flexibility, and boost your circulation, Ellipse was made for you. Power-assisted exercise that frees your mind to enjoy your favorite seated activities. Just plug it in, place your feet, select your speed, and relax. Ellipse does all the work for you. Call now and order Ellipse. Hello, welcome back to the Scholastic Ball Report as we honor the Crown Trophy Scholar Athlete of the Week. Our scholar is cross-country team member Brody Coleman from Madison Central High School. Welcome in, Brody. Thank you for having me on. How'd you get interested in running cross-country? So freshman year, right when COVID had started, um, it had been, uh, my coach had got me into it. Uh, he was a teacher over at Central. He kind of got me into it, and kind of from there, I just kind of stuck with it and fell in love with it, and I've been doing it since then. What do you like about cross country running? So uh, the thing I love about it the most is it's it's an individual sport with a team aspect. So how you run, how you compete, is one hundred percent on you, not anyone else. There's like a sense of accountability to yourself, and you always have a new opportunity to better yourself. And I would definitely say. It teaches you a lot, both for academics through the sport and really just in life. It teaches you dedication, 
patience because the work you put in today won't have much benefit right then it takes time to set in and you have to be consistent and i think that really helps out a lot just through life and through sports in general good answer do you run track also i do yeah and which track events do you like do you run so you my main events are the mile and the two mile and occasionally i'll run the four by eight relay too well talk to us about your cross country meet so far this year so far we've had some really strong performances i think for the team in general uh we've can definitely came a long way from back uh in august for sure um i was lucky to i was blessed to get a pr uh this last uh race we went to um had a really big improvement from last year and definitely looking forward to seeing how we can progress as a team going forward going into regionals do you have any cross country goals for this season i would like to through postseason uh, push close to that 16 minute barrier and work from there and really just get make sure that in every race I do put everything out on the field and come off of the course knowing that I put everything out. You're a really good student. How do you balance the academics with your cross country running and your track? It's definitely a struggle sometimes. There's a lot of late nights. It's a lot of it's making sure you can get as much work done. Uh, at school as you can so by the time you're at practice that's all you have to really focus on um but yeah there's there's a lot of late nights making sure you're getting everything through and just uh making sometimes on weekends you have to pull in an extra load of work and yeah it's, it's a lot but uh having the guys there holding each other accountable is it definitely makes it easier well thank you brody for being on the scholastic ball report today good luck the rest of the season of cross country running Thank you. Thank you for having me on. That's Brody Coleman, the Crown Trophy Scholar Athlete of the Week. We'll be right back with more on the Scholastic Ball Report. Here is our Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week, and it started early at the farm in Hamburg between Madison Central and Douglas. Jeremiah Lowe gets the opening kickoff at the eight, makes a pirouette around midfield, and he is gone. A 92-yard kickoff return to start the game as Douglas rolls Madison Central 44-7. Jeremiah Lowe, you are the Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week. Listen to the TV on high volume or have trouble hearing conversations, then you would benefit from hearing aids. Don't waste thousands on expensive hearing aids when you can get Nano's revolutionary technology for just $297. Don't be fooled by higher priced hearing aids. The CIC Recharge is a true hearing aid, not an amplifier. With rechargeable technology many customers say is superior to more expensive models. Call now and get not one, but two Nano hearing aids for just $297. $7. Plus, we'll add a portable charging case and ship your order absolutely free. The CIC Recharge has a tiny in-the-ear canal design that is nearly invisible. Why keep missing out on important conversations or waste thousands of dollars? Call and get two CIC Recharge hearing aids for only $297 and free shipping. 800-684-9098. Again, that's 800-684-9098. Hello and welcome back into the Scholastic Ball Report as we honor the Rafferty Special Guest of the Week. We have Lucy Moore from Rowan County. Welcome into the Scholastic Ball Report, Lucy. Thank you so much. I'm so honored to be here. Well, you're a very special 
person in the world of high school sports, cheer, dance, and leadership. So we'll start with this question. You've been involved in many leadership roles over the year, including being as a KHSAA board member. So talk a little bit about that. Well, um, I laughed and said I was honored to, to, I never thought that I would have that opportunity. Um, my husband had been the uh, AKHSA board member a couple of times, and so I, I you know, knew what it was all about. But for me to actually have that opportunity was just a thrill and a, a real honor. Um, I'm all about the kids and anything that we can do to help them, I'm for. And I know KHSAA is exactly that. So I was honored to be a part of that. Going to the cheer part also, uh, Commissioner Wise had appointed me to the National Federation of uh, High School Spirits, um, com National, oh, the Spirit Rules Committee um, for a term uh, in 1991. And then that nice Commissioner uh, Bridget DeVries appointed me for, and so I got to actually do a second term uh, in 2007. So I was, I was, you know, thrilled to be a part of that. And it gives you such a good way to see where these rules come from and how they come about and, and why, because safety is really the key. Well, and I wanted to uh, get to that just a little bit on the National Federation cheer, cheerleading rules. The, the committee, just talk a little bit about how those rules are put into place, because it's not just the committee that makes them up. I mean, they get input. Oh, no, from no. Right. The representatives come, you know, they send in the proposals for the rule changes from all across the country, uh, the school, the states that are members of the nation, and they send those in, and then the committee just looks at them and takes everything into consideration to come up and, and with the voting to whether to pass or not pass. So, yes, those rules don't really come from the committee necessarily. It's from the the membership across the country. So talk about your involvement with cheerleading over the years. How did you get started in it? Well, I, I laughed and said, I was never a cheerleader myself. I always wanted to be, but at the time it was when you went in front of the student body and they chose it, but my daddy was let me try. <laughs> he just was really against it. So I remember going and, and sitting in the bleachers and, and tears rolling down my face that I didn't even get a chance to try. So ironically, then in 1980, when I was interviewing for my first teaching job, strangely, with that job, if you will coach the cheerleaders. <laughs> So I actually jumped on that. I don't think too many people were excited about, the, you know, wanting that. But I was, I was happy to do that, even though I didn't know a lot about it. But I'm one of those things that people that know that you have to surround yourself with uh, people who are competent and do know. So I, I know that the kids needed discipline. They needed structure. They needed to set expectations so i could do that part of it and i i brought in people like um well myron doan started at msu he started his dynasty at msu about the same time that i was starting um uh, lisa wheeler from pikeville did her student teaching at round county and so i brought her in um i looked for the people that i knew knew what they were talking about and brought those people in. And I feel like we did have, you know, a lot of success with that. The probably the greatest accomplishment I felt like was when we won a sweet 16 in game competition because all of my babies knew that the competition is great, but we are there to cheer for teams. That's that's your real reason for being there as a cheerleader is to support your teams and get the crowd into it. So when we went to the Sweet 16 and we won the in-game competition, that was the highlight for me. Now we did lots of other things and went to nationals and all kinds of things, but that was the thing that I felt like was we were being rewarded for what we were supposed to be doing. Well, that's Lucy Moore, the Rafferty Special Guest of the Week, one of the most knowledgeable people in the state of Kentucky on cheer and dance. We'll be right back with more on the Scholastic Ball Report.
All right, welcome back. We got more football for you. Pulaski County, North Laurel. Jaguar Austin Johnson, he's got that rather large knee brace right there somehow. Step drag, step drag. Limps his <laughs> way through Pulaski's defense down the field. All right, that sets up Ethan Gregory. He pays for this one. Oh, oh! he got six, though, across the goal line. He's going to feel that tomorrow. Uh, Jags like sacking quarterbacks. Uh, Johnson? With the knee brace. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Slam sack. That's a gamer right there. Good night. They get in there. North Laurel doubles up Pulaski 28-14. bruising highlight. Yeah, it was. Sarah and Berea from Get exit 104. Nice lid, Sarah. Like that. 14 nothing Spartans. Luke Pennington hits the screen to Charlie Slavaugh. Good old Charlie. Gets in six-point scoring zone. We call that the end zone. 21 nothing Sarah. Early second quarter. Little touch pass to Brock Kaufman. That is too easy. I mean, that's so easy. He's going to blow a kiss to the scoreboard. <laughs> Thank you. See you. Sayer and a breeze, 49 to nothing. Okay, with so many places to buy new appliances, where should you go? A big box store? How about a warehouse club? I don't think so. Go where your neighbors go. p Rants was voted Central Kentucky's favorite place to buy appliances. Here's why. They have all the major brands at the guaranteed lowest price. Low interest financing with options to fit any budget. Plus an award-winning in-house service and installation team. Voted Central Kentucky's favorite place for appliances. We're the best in the bluegrass. Nobody beats p Rats. The wait is over. FanDuel Sportsbook's officially live. America's number one sports book is here. FanDuel makes it so easy to get started. You can bet on all your favorite teams, all your favorite sports, even all your favorite golfers. Plus, you can play any way you want. Everything from live bets to same game parlay. And you can get paid instantly. That's like the whole point of winning. New customers bet $5 and get $200 in bonus bets guaranteed. Make every moment more with FanDuel. Good things come to those who wait. Unless you use distinctive design remodeling to upgrade your home, go from fine to fantastic faster than you might think. With this many finished projects, what are you waiting for? Get your project finished faster with distinctive design remodeling. Tuesday, only on the CW. This team is ready to win now. Touchdown! They are the best defense in the NFL right now. Inside the NFL, this Tuesday at 8, 7 central on the CW. Well, that's our show for this week. Special thanks to our Scholastic Ball Report team. Pressman's King of Stream, William Warfield. Catch the game every Friday night on Pressman at 7.30. Joel Clace, our director, WKYT. Bridget DeVries, our executive producer, Hall of Famer. WKYT sports staff, Brian Bonham, Lee K. Howard, Lindsey Gall. And until next week, for those you see and those you don't see, Keep your eye on the Scholastic Ball Report. The Scholastic Ball Report was sponsored by Mingy Beef Jerky, P-Rats, Rafferty's, Roberts Insurance, Crown Trophy, Sutherland Chevrolet, Prep Spin, Double Dogs, and by UK Sports Medicine.